Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Zion's Wall. This is part two of the message that I presented before entitled Run the Race, Do Not Quit by Evangelist F. Baxter, preaching the Word of God live in a church. I was presented the Word of God. The opportunity was given. The sermon entitled Run the Race, Do Not Quit. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, may this message be a blessing to you. The purpose of Zion's Wall Broadcast is to encourage you to let you know it's getting late and it's getting dark. And now is not the time to quit, switch, or even thinking of turning back. For those of us who were thinking of giving up, I, Evangelist F. Baxter, I believe the Lord has inspired me to send this message and this message came to you not because of an accident but God wants to encourage you and this message to you today is this do not quit and do not switch because sometime when you're about to give up God Almighty was getting ready to fill your cup ladies and gentlemen part two of run the race do not quit by Evangelist F. Baxter and Zion's Wall. Keep Zion's Wall broadcast in prayer that the Lord will give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that I could find more means and ways to reach more people far and near in the name of Jesus. Now, if this message message have been a blessing to you, feel free to let someone know. Like, subscribe, and share now when i say subscribe ladies and gentlemen this is a free program this is not no money involved Uh, uh, like and subscribe subscribe mean every time zion's wall put up a message you will get it automatically and you will able to share with someone if you think this channel zion's wall is a blessing to you now if you just type into youtube evangelist f baxter you will see all the messages well maybe you don't like this one but the next one might be a blessing to you we have messages like lord remember me we have messages like a love letter from jesus to us we have messages like god's final warning to mankind the wrath of god will be poured out if you go through If you check it out, Zions, if you check it out, you will notice that if under Evangelist F. Baxter, there's a lot of different messages, messages like, have you ever been in a storm? Now, if you'd like more information and uh, in terms of these messages, you may contact us in Zions Wall at 347-731-3296-347. 32 347 731 3296. That's only if you're in reference to uh, like you'd need us to do something in reference to presenting a message. That's the purpose only for that. If it's not that, then you know there's no need for that. Ladies and gentlemen, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you in Jesus' name. Part two of Run This Race, Do Not Quit. Run this race. Do not quit. God bless you. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we have part two of Run the Race, Do Not Quit by Evangelist F. Baxter from Zion's Wall, I'm going to feature this song that says stood on the bank of Jordan. One of the reasons why we need to run this race and do not quit because our hope and the only hope we have is really in Jesus because no matter what we have, And no matter what we possess, when dead come knocking at our door, ladies and gentlemen, we have no hope if we don't have a relationship with Jesus. But if we die in the name of Jesus, in the end, we will have eternal. Ladies and gentlemen, as the song said, I stood on the banks of Jordan. This message in Taika, run the race, do not quit, is a true thing that if we run the race, Hebrews chapter 11 and chapter 12 tell us that the Moses who ran the race one and when Jesus come the second time he will be saved we talk about Jacob we talk about Joseph we talk about some heroes ladies and gentlemen Zion's Wall broadcast Zion's Wall broadcast with Evangelist Baxter want to let you know that you and I can end up in the Hall of Fame in the name of Jesus not because of our good works but because of God's greatness and his kindness ladies and gentlemen run the race do not quit this song also said that 
we have to just stand up and on the bank and look when our mother died think about when your brother died think about when your sister your husband uh, your niece your child think about the person that was dear to you that if they have faith in jesus and they love jesus and serve jesus they have the opportunity to live forever trust in the lord ladies and gentlemen don't you give up and don't you quit keep on running in the name of jesus hallelujah Zion's, Zion's Wild Broadcast with Evangelist Baxter Purpose is to encourage you, to encourage you not to quit and not to switch, but keep on standing strong and keep on standing on the promises of God. This is part two of Run the Race, Do Not Quit with Evangelist F. Baxter and Zion's Wild. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Lord of mercy, save us. Save us. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, this man, this boy, this girl, this woman, listen, this broadcast, watching, bless him or her in a mark way. There is something, Lord, that is in our body that we can't see. Something that could affect us in the future. That the doctor didn't see and the checkup didn't find. In the name of Jesus, I come asking you, Lord, to let your Holy Spirit move and work. Father, move in our body, in our physical body. Remove, cut, and take out in the name of Jesus whatever is in our body that could come and kill us or lame us. I pray, Lord, that you will remove it in the name of Jesus. As I'm about to do part two of Run the Race, do not quit. Continue to bless, continue to direct, continue to give me thoughts, continue to give me the opportunity, and continue to, continue to open up door, open up door far and near in the name of Jesus for the word of God to be spread. Keep me, Lord, safe under your blood keep me safe under your blood oh lord jesus hallelujah 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 mm. hallelujah praise god to god be the glory great things you have done so love you to god be the glory great Well, just tell them if you don't. You don't have to know all the Bible. Tell them that Jesus' book is the best seller ever. Tell them that Jesus have a book that been through the fire. Yeah. Tell them that even though Jesus' book been through the fire, in the word of God, there is still a lot of power. Tell them that in the word of God, you find the Holy Ghost power. Tell them in the word of God, there is power to save somebody. You don't have to know all the Bible. Tell them what he has done for you. Tell them when you go to the job and your, your resume was not all that good and God through the Holy Spirit speak to the interviewer. Yeah. And so you see that one? What to run the, the race may do not, not quit by evangelist that. and Baxter. But that's the person to take. Amen. God give your favor. Amen. Justify. Amen. And tell them how oh, God give your favor. And watch this. Favor is better than any degree. Amen. Amen. Of all the degree you have, and do have favor, see so what? Somebody less qualified than you. <laughs> and they got the job. But when God give you favor, I want to let you know, brothers and sisters, no degree. We can beat that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know Baxter have a text called Baxter 3 verse 5. Don't look for it. <laughs> it said, who got higher? No man fire until God ready for you to retire to take your burden to the Lord in Christ. <laughs> if something in this life is for you, nobody can stop you from getting it. I want to let you know when you run this Christian race, you got to take off some weight, brothers and sisters. You got to take off the weight of malice, throw that away. It's too much to keep going around with that. But when you have malice and you, you dislike somebody, you come to church and you see that person. And when that person gets happy in Jesus, and that person starts to say, I just came to praise the Lord. Because you don't like them, your blood pressure run up. So just get rid of the malice. Just come light to Jesus. I want to let you know that as you run this Christian life, we got to drop our gossip because that's part of the devil's trick to get us discouraged and disappointed in the church of God. God wants us to get rid of it. And so Paul, the great presenter, acting like a lawyer in chapter 12, he developed the image of an athletic contest. 
You know, he, he encourages his reader to, 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 to look at the great weaknesses in, in chapter 11. You see, as a lawyer, when you go to court, you have to develop, uh, you have to have facts and you have to have proof and you have to show why you come to a conclusion that this victim it, 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 it should be con convicted of this situation. So in chapter 11, he presents cases of different people that have run the race before us. Yeah. And then in chapter 12, he said, now when you look back at all those witnesses, you can rest assured that if you run this race and be faithful, just like how God has helped those in chapter 11 to overcome, we today in this church can overcome. But we just got to stay faithful and focus on the Lord. Because he's showing you some people like Enoch and Moses and all them folks. You see, they've been through some stuff. Some of them crying. Some of them lost some stuff in the storm. But they stay with the Lord. And in the end, they won the battle. In this life, you will run into some storm. But you just need to stay with the Lord. This text is talking about perseverance. And it's talking about to run this race by faith. As a climax to his presentation of the great heroes of faith, Paul recalled the endurance of Jesus in the face of extreme suffering. If you look in verse 2, he said, Look unto Jesus. The altar. Look unto Jesus. The altar. The of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. You hear me, brother? He endured the cross. And then despising what church? Despising the shame. He's telling you that Jesus was God's son. Never commit no sin, but he endured. He endured shame. You know what that is telling us? You think your life is going to be perfect down here? And everybody going to say something good about you? If that's what you're looking, you're on the wrong planet. I want to let you know that somebody will dislike you. You could have been the best person because Jesus was the best person. Yet still they despise him. So when you go through these things, just look in your life and see where you're going. Is it because I'm serving God why I'm going through this? When you run this race, the devil plan is to discourage you, to disqualify you, so you can't end up at the end to get eternal life. You see, the devil know what's at the end. He know if you serve God. He, he know if you stay with the Lord in good times and bad times. If you stay with the Lord even when you have to cry, when everybody forgets you and, and some people just don't even worry about you. He know, the devil know, if you stay with the Lord, there's a crown waiting for you. And he know what heaven is like. And he know how beautiful heaven is. And he don't want you to get the opportunity to go to see Jesus in heaven, so he will do everything to discourage you, to disqualify you, and to get you out of the race. And sometimes he uses the people that's running next to you in the race. Do you think he uses people always from outside? He uses the same person in the next lane to tell you something, and you're wasting time looking down, and in the process, you are losing, you are losing sight on Jesus. You see, Paul is saying, Jesus suffered extreme suffering, mockery, and you guess, you think it's going to be perfect with you this year? No, but lift up your heads and look unto the altar and the finisher of your faith. Amen. He's saying, look unto the Jesus, and then he talked about some of the stuff Jesus go through. Like, for example, when he was on the cross, hear them. Yes, you think you're good? You save others, but you can't save yourself. You know what that pastor mean, that pastor? Yes, you are the pastor, but your children give you all the trouble. See, you see what I'm saying? They're not looking at, they find everything that they could use against you. They say, Jesus, yes, you save others. <laughs> you even save Lazarus. But watch you, you on the cross and someone gets slick and said, well, if you be the son of God, why don't you come down and we will believe you. What great mockery. But I thank God that he had patience. He had discipline. He didn't let people make him use ultimate power. Hey, it's a powerful thing when you have power to destroy and you can maintain. And you can restrain your power. Oh, brothers and sisters. 
Even in church, sometimes some people trouble you for they want to fly off the handle. That's the same who Look who says he's a pastor. Look who says he's a Christian the way they behave the other day. But sometimes just smile and take a deep breath. Ladies and gentlemen, Evangelist Baxter preaching this message in Tycho. And part two of Run the Race, Do Not Quit. Taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 11. Main text will be Ephesians chapter 12. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The evangelist was encouraging us to run this race and do not quit. And don't expect everything to be perfect with us. Because Jesus was God's son. And he go through a lot. Jesus was God's son. And they mock him. Jesus was God's son. And they whip him. Jesus was God's son. And Judas betrayed him. Judas was God. Jesus. Jesus rather was God's son. And he get betrayed by a kiss. In this life. Don't be too surprised. But do not be distracted and do not change course. Do not quit and do not switch. Evangelist Baxter and Zion's Wall come to encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Run this race and do not quit. Because it's getting late and it's getting dark. Signs of the times are everywhere that the coming of the Lord is very near. So keep stepping up. If you go to church and for some reason somebody don't like you, just remember, when you go to church, you're, you make up your mind, you just came to praise the Lord. In every church, you have two groups of people. You got the worshipers, and you have the watchers. The two of them start with W. One come to watch and criticize, and to say, if it's not my way, it's the highway. And if I was in charge, what I would have done and what I should and what they should have done. And in most cases, the watcher is not doing nothing, talking about what they would have done and should have done and doing nothing. But when you're a worshiper, ladies and gentlemen, whether things are good or bad, you make up in your mind that you come to praise the Lord. Do what Psalms 100 say. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his praise, into his, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, hallelujah, and bless his name. As I wrap up this message, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to encourage you that you come too far to turn back now. You come too far to quit. You come too far to switch. No matter what you're going through, no matter how sick you may be and you can't get better, I give you Jesus. Hurt have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And whatever you're going through, I know Jesus have the best deal. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you quit, don't you switch. Keep praying. Pray more like, pray more than before. More prior, more power. Less prior, less power. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we may hear things and see things that we don't like. But in everything in this world, you will see something that is not perfect. But I come to encourage you to stay in the word of God. Study the word, and as I say in the past, in past messages don't you stay away from church don't stay away from church keep the fellowship keep praying with your brothers and sister don't stay away from church go to church don't get caught up on modern technology and sit down and talking about you don't want to have fellowship i'm not saying you should be unhappy at church but what i'm saying bridging keep going to church keep praising god sometimes when you don't feel like going get up take a shower get up go to church and, and, and come and testify if you didn't get a blessing. Don't you quit, don't you switch. The man of God said, Evangelist F. Baxter, run the race, don't you quit and don't you switch. Science Wild Broadcast is encouraging you, ladies and gentlemen, to keep on stepping in the name of Jesus. Forward ever and backward ever. Jesus promised in St. John's chapter 14, if I go, I will come again. He's gone and he's coming again. Remember, God keep his promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are faithful. You never lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. But he can't even help himself. 
In this Christian life, many pastors and leaders, plus members who live for God, experience some type of opposition in your Christian life. While running the Christian race, sometimes we, we, we have to deal with some folks who come to stop us. Some come to block us and distract us. Some come to kill our dream with their grass of a mentality. Saying, why waste time? Some come to block us, some come to stop us. Hmm. For God, experience some type of opposition in your Christian life. While running the Christian race, sometimes we, we, we have to deal with some folks who come to stop us. Some come to block us and distract us. Some come to kill our dream with their grass of a mentality. Saying, why waste time going back to school? You cannot pass that test. Grass of a mentality. Always negative and discouraging about others' desire to grow. But today, God have a word for somebody. Amen. Yes, God of a word for someone today, brothers and sisters, our past life, we were just nesting like eagles, chicken, baby chicken, eagle, we was just nesting, mm -hmm. and God is Preach, saying, it's time to get out of the nest and to soar high for God, Amen. it's time to get out of the nest and fly for Jesus, oh brothers and sisters, fly high for Jesus who have the remedy for sin. Amen. Church, keep standing firm for Jesus. Amen. And don't you quit. Amen. In our Christian journey, let us give. In our Christian journey, you will always run into two types of people. In church, most time and outside too. Church, whether big or small, is a war boat. War boat, always making trouble. Never have nothing good to say. Nobody can do nothing good to please them. If they're not doing it, it cannot be done right. That's the, that's a war board, always making trouble. Some war board is like what we call an instigator. That's a person who likes to start a quarrel. Their main goal is to initiate and instigate an uprising, wanting people to start trouble with a person or against something. Instigate a war board. In a Christian war will run into a war board who is like a bird dog. Bird dogs come in pairs. You got the sitter and you got the setter. Now the sitter always sit down on something. Always the sitter never had the detail. Most time the sitter was not there. But the sitter heard. The sitter, the bird dog, this is the bird dog that sit in the bushes with the hunters. He, he find the tree that the birds are hand, and the sitter will sit there and the intention of the dog is to let the bird, the, the gunman, the hunter know that the birds are up there. Notice the sitter dog don't kill the bird, but he's telling the hunter where the birds are. And some people is like Judas, they are bird dog. They, 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 they don't kill you, but they cause other people to kill you. <laughs> That's a bird dog. That's a set of brothers and sisters. So, 10 years ago, somebody had a child out of wedlock, and they stopped coming to church. And after a while, they came back, and a new person come and visit the church. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Evangelist Baxter was saying that the 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 sitter, uh, that bird dog, don't kill. Uh, the bird dog don't kill the bird, but the bird dog allow and tell the hunters where to find the bird. And so the preacher was saying that something happened ten years ago, and somebody who is brand new came to the church and sometime unfortunately some people if for some reason somebody was saying who is that nice young lady or that handsome looking man um in terms of negativity some people will always find the negative things to say first uh, that's a sitter that person sit on that whole sad story dead story and they don't want to let it go even if you are changed and you're, you're the lord is blessing you even if they could see the blessing of the lord they don't want to let it go that is that's a sitter and, and so in life and in every church you will run into a sitter 
who is like a bird dog that sit and hold dead story even though they don't have the information the detail because in most case they heard they wasn't there and so in every church you'll run into that and so what the preacher is saying don't be surprised when you run into that but be aware that you was told that as you are on your christian journey don't you quit and don't you switch and in case you run into someone like that don't let it stop you from coming to church keep your eyes on jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith look unto jesus don't look unto people in the church look unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith now in every church you will run into some self-employed judges they think they know everybody else's business and they spend more time trying to straighten out people's business instead of their own business. Don't be discouraged. Don't you quit. Don't you switch. Just remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. Remember the sermon said, run the race, do not quit. Run the race, do not quit. Because it's getting late and it's getting dark. And signs of the time are everywhere that the coming of the Lord is very near. This message was presented by Evangelist F. Baxter. As I close off this message, I will present a song that will encourage us to continue to run this race. Do not quit. Now, if you like this message, please like, share, and subscribe. So automatically when Zion's Wild put up a message, you may receive this message. God bless you and keep you. Remember to run the race and do not quit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, this man, this woman, this boy or girl who takes some time out of their busy schedule to listen, to view and listen this message. Oh God, I know I'm not all that. I know, Lord, that I'm not the greatest in nothing. I know I'm the least of the watchman on Zion's wall. <laughs> but Lord, I'm asking you even now, I know you have the power that you can take a nobody to tell everybody about somebody who can save everybody. So I present myself at your feet. Say, Lord, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Wash me in your blood. Any sin that I have committed, Lord, take that away from me and help me not to allow the negative things of life to stop me and slow me down from going forward with you. I pray, Lord, that you will open door that men locked up, and I pray that you will bless Zion's wall, and may this message go forth for the purpose that it was sent for. This message was sent for to encourage somebody that is discouraged, to encourage somebody that is thinking of stop going to church, to encourage somebody that was doing well in church and have a setback. Lord, I pray that this message will go forth in a mighty way to let them know that whatever the case may be, that if they come to you and get washed in your blood, if they come to you and get cleansed from sin, Lord, that they should start to be like Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. When Isaiah get washed in your precious blood, when the angel take the coal of the altar that was touched by two things, blood and fire. When that cold touch Isaiah lips, the angel said, Now you are purged and your iniquity is forgiven. O Lord, when you cleanse us and forgive us for our iniquity and our sins, I pray that we will move forward like Isaiah to say, Here I am. Here I am. Here I am, O Lord, sent me. Dear Lord, I, F. Baxter, am willing to be used in these last days. Whatever I lack, supply me with that. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, may God bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. May God bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. 
Work it out, Lord. Work out the things that we cannot figure it out. Work out, Lord, what we cannot figure out. In Jesus' name. Work it out, dear God. Work it out, dear Jesus. Dr. Jesus, please work it out. Please work it out for this man. This man that is right now listening. This woman, this boy or girl. Oh, Lord, what we can't figure out. Dr. Jesus, please work it out. Jesus, please work it out. Please work it out. Lord Jesus, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace instead of disgrace. Help us to continue to run this race. And do not quit in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In order to get... You quit part two. Oh, but now run the race, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you give up, don't you stop going to church. Keep praising God, fellowship with the brethren, in spite of. Ba-ba-boom. Run the race, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you quit. Don't you switch. Keep praying with your family. Don't you give up on your child. Don't you give up on your child. Don't give up on church, and above all, don't give up on Jesus. Right. Grace is gonna lead us where? you if this message has been a blessing to you god bless you if you like this message subscribe share with someone this message might be a blessing for them too don't keep the word of god just for yourself if it bless you it can be a blessing to them too 
part of spreading the gospel it's like bringing someone to church and they receive a message even though you didn't preach it you participate in rescuing the perishing and help caring for the dying if this message have been a blessing to you share it with someone also if you don't want to go and do the preaching let this message do the preaching share it with a friend share it with someone near or far this is help spreading the word of god the bible says in daniel in the last days the word of god will go forth with speed and power revelation chapter 14 verse 6 said i saw an angel fly in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel ladies and gentlemen there is an emergency there's a need to spread the gospel if somebody wonder why evangelist Baxter is so concerned why he's like this now and why he's so interesting because God put a burning desire in, desire in my heart God put a Jeremiah fire in my bone to share the word of God in this life money or no pleasure can satisfy my heart or my soul as much as the word of God when God placed that place that anointed and a burning in our heart it will be a joy to bring someone closer to Jesus and to share the precious word of God you can be a part of sharing the word of God by sharing this message with someone this message entitled run the race do not quit part 2 by evangelist Baxter F Baxter from Zion's wall part 1 you may find on the channel remember all you gotta do is to type in Evangelist F. Baxter and you will see different messages. Different messages that can bless your soul. Some is short and this might be long. Yes, this is long. It's okay if you are not able to watch this one. Somebody else might be able to. Somebody maybe who is retired or somebody who have a burning desire to hear and taste and see that the Lord is good some short some long but ladies and gentlemen i do what the spirit put on my heart if, if i feel the desire sometime i come home from work and there's such a this desire it's so overwhelming ladies and gentlemen i can't even touch the food the food is there but sometimes god put this in my mind and in my heart to do and i just do what i have to do in the end I know God's word will not return unto him void. My desire, ladies and gentlemen, is to please God and to be used in these last days. May the peace and the grace of God rest and abide upon you now and forever. This is Evangelist Hef Baxter from Zion's Wall. Have a nice day or night. God bless this woman, bless this man, bless this boy, bless this girl. In Jesus' name I pray. 